what's going on so I have a couple of topics I want to talk about today I'm gonna do different videos so you will probably see me in the same outfit because um, yeah I'm not gonna change <laughs> Anywho, um, the first thing I wanted to come to y'all, I just had me like a little bit of a breakdown. And I know that everybody is like, you know, you should be happy right now. You should be excited, you know, and all of those different, you know, feelings and stuff. And the one thing I can, I can say is that I do feel anxious. I'm anxious to hear them cry. I'm anxious to you know get through c-section I'm anxious to be able to know if they're gonna you know come right home so I am anxious for that as far as the excitement part it's so hard to and I don't know if I have a fear of getting excited <clears throat> or whatnot um, because my girls aren't here and so like I said I've already let it all out so I'm good <laughs> But I did have a moment when I was a little, you know, emotional this morning because um, all I could do was think about them and them not being here and that I was supposed to be doing this with them. And so, you know, um, I try to not go that route, you know, I mean, the pain is still there. It's never going to go away. You know, it just gets easier to deal with, but it just never goes away. And as y'all know, the whole pregnancy, you know, was a little bit difficult, especially once I found out that they were boys. And then, um, so it did get a little, you know, it, it, it did, it did kind of put me in a place where I was like, wow, like I can't even get a girl out of, you know, so y'all know, y'all seen the video, you know, and so I did have to pull myself together. I did have to, you know, be grateful you know for what I have and stuff like that and um, you know it hadn't been an easy road I just kinda not you know I, I didn't want to bring it up and keep bringing it up because it sounds like I'm ungrateful to me if I keep bringing it up you know so so anyway I was like well you know I'm not gonna keep bringing that up you know um, true feelings are I miss my girl so much I wish that I was having another girl at least one you know um lately i've been feeling like i don't want to do this again uh it could be just you know i'm not a and i can't say it's hormones this is me talking and i can say that i really don't see myself doing it again and it, that that part makes me just a little emotional thinking about it just a little bit it's not as bad as it used to be because i'm exhausted um you know pregnancy does wear you down um it's 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 um it's a job on its own it really is you know and i'm so grateful that you know god is allowing me to give birth and to hold these babies you know as long as i you know am holding them and that the tech is doing his job and so forth you know so i am excited about that and um but um, I want to be that excited. I want to be, and everybody say, you know, it's going to change once I have them and stuff. And it's like, I know me better than everybody else know me, you know. And so, yeah, I'm going to be excited because I'm going to be able to see, you know, someone that looks like me. I'm going to be able to see someone that acts like me, you know. And I'm going to be able to see, you know, this little person that came out of me, <laughs> And so, yeah, it's going to be exciting in that, you know, in that way and stuff. But in the back of my mind, you know, I will be trying to see, you know, do they look like their sisters a little bit, you know, and stuff like that. So it it has started to bother me a little bit um, now that we have a set date for delivery. And so now it's, it's like it's getting real and it's like you really about to have a house full of boys, like get ready type deal. You know, and I think because it's becoming more realistic, it's starting to transpire some of those feelings that I had. I don't know. But I am grateful. Don't get me wrong. I am grateful. I am blessed. And um, like I said, I'm just really anxious to 
meet who's been kicking me all these months and their little personalities and stuff, you know, and things like that. Um, and, um, you know, like I said before, the gender thing never really went away. It just kind of, I just kind of not brought it up to anybody because I don't want people to, like I said, be like, oh, she's just ungrateful and how in the world, you know, she lose this and then when she finally get pregnant, you know, I can already hear it and see it from every which, every which way, whether it's family, friends, whatever. And, um, that's definitely not my intention because I am blessed, don't get me wrong. Um, but to put all of that into one and say, you know, I really do feel like that would be, like, this would be it. We are going to still pay for one more round. I mean, not one more round. <laughs> we're we're going to go ahead and pay for one more um, storage fee. And I told, like I was telling hubby, I said, you know, if at that time, you know, I, I kind of feel like I'm in the midst of when they're born, then it's my turn to get me together, you know, like, you know, I'm about, I'm about to be 34, 34, <laughs> I'm about to be 34, you know, and hmm, hmm, I'm really ready to get myself together. This whole IVF thing drains the mess out of you. It really does. You know, is you have to stay encouraged. You have to pray. I mean, it's a lot of stuff you have to do just to get through, you know, and um, I mean, it's possible, but it's just it's a struggle I can definitely say you know it's a struggle sometimes and so it's like I really <clears throat> I really don't feel like um just going through the motions you know again and the first trimester doing all, I don't know I just I don't know that's why I really wish there was a girl in here so that way I can feel like I'm a hundred percent you know satisfied you know but it didn't work out that way <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to kind of give those um, feelings to y'all of how I'm feeling. I have, what, um, let's see, four, yeah, four days left. I have, yeah, four days left before I see them. And so, um, you know, I don't ever want them to feel like they're unwanted or anything because that's not the case. But it does scare me I'm like oh my gosh like you know hubby and then LeBron and then these two and it's like um boys are something else <laughs> they are boys are something and girls can be something else with their attitudes and mouth but I feel like I can handle that it's just the boys and they stubbornness they don't want to clean up don't they just I don't know <laughs> Uh, and I have OCD. I, I like my place clean, you know. Like I said, um, yikes. <laughs> so we shall see. But I did want to come and share just a few little, you know, smidgets of how I feel. Um, hubby is very excited. Like, he's very, very, very excited. He's like, I'm so excited. You know, he's going crazy in that. And I'm just like, yes. Like, I'm, I'm ready to um, just get this body back together you know being able to sleep in the bed um that kind of stuff and just uh being able to walk i mean walking is a struggle I, it, it is so anyway i wanted to kind of give y'all just an update on just a few feelings i was having you know of course this video won't be out until um thursday which is the day after i'll have all of these actually probably programmed in and what i'll do is um what I'll do is basically just, um, you know, release them at that time so that way they're already created. So anyway, um, that's all I wanted to talk about about that. <laughs> I don't want to hold y'all too long about that part as well. Um, again, I thank y'all so much for y'all support. Um, I am creating a video that highlights my whole journey from beginning to end and I literally cried probably three times in the midst of making the the making the the, the video so um you know i just can't believe i'm here you know 35 weeks like wow one more week and i would have been nine months 
you know and i don't know why people say it's nine months because it really you're if you were pregnant with a singleton it's 10 months so that's a long time it's like a year to be pregnant so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go guys um again i love y'all all uh remember 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 um if you're not part of the instagram party um then you're missing out on pictures right now i'm sure right now you're probably missing out on pictures because um this would probably be out on thursday and um i would be have already had the babies the day before so just remember you know make sure that you hop on instagram even if it's for a second or so you know so you can see them because you won't be seeing them on the video for a while okay because i'm trying to do a lot of videos to kind of catch up on a couple of things and then i won't make probably another video until i able to come home or depending on what the situation is so yeah but anyway guys um as of right now i once you see this i would have already given birth so i will already pretty much be holding nursing pumping um in the hospital and so forth so that's that that's kind of exciting to know that when y'all see this video i will have already delivered <laughs> but anyway i love y'all y'all have a wonderful rest of your day and upcoming weekend and i will talk to y'all later <laughs> bye been down or watching their lungs expand um and so forth um also to check just you know their heart rate make sure their heart rate you know is good make sure they you know that they are okay in that point and just to kind of see if there's any type of movement going on